I'm gonna be going through a little bit of a refresher on the Lexus. It's been a little time coming. So I'm just gonna go through, clean it all up again. I'm just gonna paint the wall to be three side skirts. Get everything polished up again. Give it a nice power washing all up in here. Dirty. Get the brakes checked out, check the pad lining, oil change. It's been uh, overdue for that. These have to get welded in. Bought the car like this, so we're gonna make some pucks that fit in here, weld it up nicely. All new clips for these seals. These have been done for a while. Uh, probably should use a new seal. You know, I put a new trunk seal in uh, about nine years ago. It's been doing good. So this should get probably a new seal as well. See all these clips in here, they get broken. Uh, about a buck a piece from Toyota, but honestly it's worth it because you just put it in, it's nice. Or if you buy the whole weather strip, it's uh, about 50 bucks and it comes with all new clips as well. I'll do a brake flush on the front bumper. I'm going to be repainting it. You know, there's a little crack here that I put in when I had some wrong offset wheels on. And on the inside, a bit of cleaning up as well. You know, that's been detailed for a long time. So a couple loose panels that I have to get all glued back, re-dyed. Um, replace these seals as well. I'm going to put some nice OEM black seals. These have been... Uh, dyed painted this one's actually not bad at least the condition of it the color it's okay um but, you know i want to go oem black plastics all in here uh, or at least touch it up uh, you know get a nice black carpet in there these seats have been holding up pretty decently um i put about uh, 60 70 000 miles on the car and it's been holding up decently you know the sun is taking the biggest toll on it dash is pretty good too oh still gotta finish up these guys because they're not fully wrapped around there let's get that lock on here and i got some oem visors to put back on here um so i got some new plastics to come on uh these actually have to get notched a little bit so the whole um you know rain visor sits nice and flush here uh, definitely only way to go is the OEM ones the well the well brand they stick out way too far not a nice flush look and here you got the black plastics that goes on uh, you know because I was saying the B pillars and nice OEM Toyota visors and like I was mentioning about the surround here see it was just a little old sagging so we're gonna replace those door seals the rubber part is still nice very pliable just a little dirty so I treat it with some uh, McGuire's um, rubber vinyl leather cleaner whatever they call it well, of course I got the wrong side so they clip on like so and then you'll notice you know as you try to put these guys on here to line it up there's going to be some room and then uh, undecided if I should do a little smoke on these they're already a little smoke from factory but uh, you know to match the color of the tint a little bit better wheels take them all off polish it you know these are starting to get a little worked so rear fenders have to be redone tuck them up a little bit that's a way way longer project to uh, do the mini high radius trunk got to redo the audio system nothing else other than just dust dirt scratches everywhere so it'll be out again this guy's got to get replaced and see so yeah, so these guys they're just a little worked over so we're gonna put all new felt seals in there Otherwise, the rear seat in great condition. It has very little use on it. Really nice stitch pattern. Floor mats look good. These are OEM mats. Yeah, just gotta redo that LED light, put a new lens on it. Let's check out the trunk. Front, oh, I gotta take these uh, panels off. There's a couple loose clips back here, so I'll put some new clips in there. 
refresh the paint job on these door sills. Um, I think this is, I, I don't think I ever touched these uh, doors up. Maybe just with a little paintbrush inside there. And then I carry some metal objects, so that's not a good. But um, yeah, I think it was uh, the original SEM paint. If you put the matte clear on it, that'll give it a little uh, extra depth of protection. I'm going to try that next. Same thing here. You know, just some high use areas because it's the dyed. Uh, this is holding up very well. Even all the touch surfaces on the steering wheel. So it's been very good with that. And this door seal is in physically in good condition, but you can see from everywhere I've been rubbing up against it to slide in and out of the car, all the black is coming off. So you definitely got to get the OEM replacement for that. Um, these guys, I also have the black OEM uh, seatbelt clasps. Is there somewhere from where you touch it, diddle it around? These are the cup or the airbag lift system up, down. A bunch of junk. This hydro dipping has been holding up very well. You know, it's got a clear on it. There is a, a bubble of clear that popped up in that door handle. That's okay. You can hardly see it. Like I was saying, this fender is also cracked, so we gotta take care of that. A lot of stuff to take care of. Oh yeah, check out that trunk. Uh, this bumper is going to be replaced finally soon. That'll look nice. Trunk, a little bit of a rust bubble starting up here. Uh, I touched it up a couple years ago. It's been holding up, but it's time to properly sand that. And I'm probably going to end up painting just inside this trapezoidal area. Leave the rest stock. As you can see, this still has to get lined up. I never did it. Finally, I'm going to do it. It's been pissing me off ever since. Some junk in the trunk. There's some stereo integrity, their first version of the 10 inch woofers. Um, so I'll be going all infinity with a new single channel monoblock and then a four channel for uh, the inside there. And obviously the monoblock for the two subs. So they're tense, they should be almost a drop in. Just gonna redo these panels a little bit better, put the amps back on display, probably put them behind some plexiglass with some lighting. Um, this, I wanna, Put an oem light back in there you know it still has this guy without no light attached so i want to just put a lens and uh you know have it project out nicely and you can get to the original air ride components back here oh jesus it works no leaks or anything but it is dirty it is kind of a nasty job so another thing I'm going to be doing is separating back here, uh, separating out the audio and air compressor powers and grounds. So right now they share a, a common power wire. So every time you have a current voltage spike, um, you know, from the compressors kicking on or whatnot, you can hear it throughout the whole audio system. So got to get that filtered out, isolated. Should be sounding good. So like I mentioned, man, after I touched this, this is a nine-year-old seal. Versus a, uh, I don't know, what is it now? 20 year, 20 year seal at the front. So much, 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 much better. It just feels so rubbery and nice. So we'll be replacing that too. Just order a whole new seal for the front. Uh, front wheels are coming back from the machinist. Uh, the back pads, because they were originally cut a little bit wrong or assembled wrong. I don't know exactly, but uh, so we get those back pads tickled up just a little bit so they're riding nice and straight again. Obviously you can see it's super dirty. But she'll be, uh, she'll be getting the tender love and care. She's been deserving all this time. Super dirty wheels. Definitely gotta love the chrome. Try not to scratch it, but it just comes right off there. Beautiful. The finish. It's holding up well. I do have to replace one of these bolts up here. Where is it? Right here. That did snap. Probably, I put these back in and probably over torqued it. Um, got the chrome center cap, gold foil with the, the center gel cap rear ring. Uh, these are all plated as well. Really nice with the, the whole lettering embossments on there. 
Garson Deep Ryugis Type 1. All right, stay tuned. Um, I'm probably just going to go through as my, my first step on this. Obviously, wash it. We've got to do an oil change as well. Start at the front, work my way back, cleaning everything, cleaning first, and then start opening do the door panels, checking the wiring, and uh, replacing any seals and clips that may be broken. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll have some more videos for you coming soon.